It's Todd Dunn, your president, Local 862, UAW here in Louisville, coming to you today with a couple of uh, icons, I'm going to say, uh, but wow, a lot of history. Uh, Steve Stone, uh, who serves as a retiree chair, uh, past chairman at the Louisville Assembly Plant, uh, been paying dues for 50 years, even with the retirement included. Uh, and to uh, my right, your left, is uh, Louis Sexton, who hired in 5554 on the parkway. A lot of you don't know where the parkway was, uh, but it was at another location. Uh, and he's got 69 years of paying dues. So if you look at dues paying seniority and leadership, because both of these gentlemen have been in some form of leadership their entire career to include the retiree uh, career, if you will. Uh, they've been in leadership, you know, almost the whole time. So I just wanted to recognize that. So it's 120 years paying dues, being a part of the solution, representing this local union. There's a lot of important people that come out of this local union. One of the things that we're coming to you today is, and I want to let them say a few things, but November the 18th. What is significant about November the 18th? Please return your ballot. If for some reason, and we know there's hundreds of thousands of ballots, hopefully they didn't get thrown away. Hopefully they're sitting there uh, in the mail pile or if you didn't get pick up your, your mail from your P.O. box, but there's a ballot sitting there somewhere uh, for the most of our membership that hasn't been returned. It takes three minutes. Take that, open it up, fill that ballot out, close it, seal it. No postage necessary. Put it back in the mailbox, drop it off at your bank, wherever. They will get it mailed. But November 18th, the significant date about that date is you have to have that postmark. So you have to get that in the mail. So my recommendation will be do it now, no later than the 17th so it can get postmarked and get it back. That is the deadline uh, for getting your ballots. If you want to track your ballot, you can track your ballot and we have this already online. You can go back uh, on our app a few uh, slides back and you'll see that blue over yellow. Uh, eight and a half by 11 flyer starting uh, October 24th. You'll be able to track your vote, uh, your, your ballot. Uh, you can go to uh, uawvote.com uh, slash main HTML, but I'm not going to tell you everything because it's right there and you'll be able to look that up. Uh, if you, for some reason, you haven't gotten a ballot, you can still call. Uh, there's also a uh, 855 number on there where you can call the monitor and get a ballot. I know my sons Ryan and Alex didn't get a ballot, so we had to make sure we called them and asked for another ballot to be sent. So be sure and just move a few slides back uh, and you'll be able to see how to make that contact. But November the 18th is such an important date. Uh, Louis, uh, anything from you as far as, you know, historical leadership, what's your, what's your recommendation, what's your advice, what's your ask today of the membership? I would, yes, uh, Todd, I've <clears throat> excuse me, been so lucky through my life. I've been able to serve with Walter Ruther all the way down to the present time with uh, President Ray Curry. And I would like to tell the members to be sure when you get your ballots, make sure you mark it and get it in on time because it's the most important year that we've ever faced in my time with the UAW. This is contractual year and we have our change for the members, the active workers and the retirees to make their gains back and what we've given up through the years. And this is our time, our year, and let's take advantage of it and make sure that we do what we know to do is right. Louis, that's an awesome message because, every, you know, before we've had, you know, this is our time, this is our fight. But just in my 28 years that I've been able to be with you and work with you, and, and Lord knows you've mentored me in many ways, and we've had a lot of discussions. We spoke last night for an hour. This is a time, the time, the only time that I've ever seen in my whole entire career that we have an opportunity with the leadership team that we spoke about to go first and make these gains set the bar. Uh, you know, we've had leadership out there uh, that's been working for us and how they've done with John Deere. It's important to be able to be on a winning team together when we go to the collective bargaining agreement next year and be able to, if we don't have our foot in the room, we're not even going to be able to negotiate. If we don't turn our vote in, we have nothing. We have thrown everything away if we don't exercise our right to vote. And when people think my vote doesn't matter, it matters so much. Everything is at stake, not just electing a leader, 
but coming up next year in our negotiations, and you hit a, you hit it right on the nail. You hit the nail on the head. Thank you, Louie. I appreciate you. Steve, you got any uh, words of wisdom or anything you want to share? Well, the one thing I want to mention is not only is this election important for the bargaining next year, it's also important for the health care of all retirees. We have six board members that are UAW and appointed by the president. It is very important that they are there and stay there to back us up whenever we have problems. There's been a couple fights here locally about keeping our he many insurance. insurance. He many insurance. We went to the board. There has to be at least one vote on that board to change the insurance. So we kept our insurance. So that's why it's so important that we elect the right team for this election where we can back up and protect our health care. And the main thing is just vote. You know, if you don't vote, it's just we, we, we decontent ourselves. I mean, we can't have anything if we don't vote. One of the things I did want to share, uh, Steve, and you, you kind of alluded to it, think about the leadership that's got us where we're at. Uh, and it's 100% factual. There's nothing about this that's false or created news. Um, Ron Gettlefinger led the team during the bankruptcy yes. uh, who helped save the auto industry. You know, and you hear people, politicians like uh, uh, Rand Paul, uh, you got so many different people. Mitch McConnell, who said, let them go bankrupt. Well, Mitch McConnell was just lying to the American people because if we didn't save the auto industry, our, our economy could have failed. I mean, they said, let them be up to everybody else. We would have lost jobs everywhere. It was the UAW that was helped fighting. And, uh, you know, God, thank you, thank you, Lord, for having Ron Gettlefinger on planet Earth uh, to lead the team. And it wasn't him. It was the entire team. And we talk about leadership teams. That's what's important. Uh, I think about recently Scott Edwards, uh, Terry Niehaus, uh, Greg Howe. Those were recording secretaries that have come out of 862 that have been selected to come up and lead and help improve what we're what we've improved on we you know we went through a whole mess of things and they are a part of the solution that's being done now through our secretary treasurer's office they're the team that's making the things yeah. happen and they came out of local 862 i think of amanda goins international rep for region a i think of george palmer uh, i think of uh, uh alfonso cash you know up in the national four department doing what he's doing uh, and it's just so important to think about how many important people come out of Local 862. We always talk about ourselves. We got right now, uh, right at 20,000 members between active and retired that can all vote. That's 20,000 votes. And I'm going to give you some numbers in just a second that will blow your mind. One member, one vote, a.k.a. the direct voting system. When we went to, through, the, through that whole uh, procedure, active was 14% voted. Retired was 18% voted. And ballots returned. Which was not a good, uh, not a good uh, reference to our membership. How many people voted? It was, uh, it was really sad to see how few of votes. If you think that response was bad, let me talk to you about the numbers now. As of last night at 5 p.m., regions one, 9,937 votes. Region one A, 8,597 votes. One D, 8,618 votes. Region 2B, 15,059 votes. Region 4, 9,789 votes. Region 6, 1,090 votes. Our region, Region 8, Louis, right. eight, uh, Region 8, 8,946 out of almost 70,000 members. We are the largest region in the whole United States of America in UAW. And here we are, we're looking third, fourth, fifth, I don't know. Uh, I had to do the numbers and look at it, but we're way down the line at 8,946 votes out of almost 70,000. Mm -hmm. Region 9, 4675. Region 9A, 1706. So put all those numbers together, every single region that's had ballots turned in, 68,417 votes as of last night, 5 p.m. Here's where I want you to really look at the numbers. Out of a million plus a few members, right? So we're just a smidget over a million members. We've had 68,417 members put their ballots in and return them. That's, that's been returned so far as of last night. That's 6.85%, guys. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's less than half that's of right. who wanted one member, one vote. And what's so important right now in closing is next year we negotiate our contract. We have to have our leadership in place. Knocking it out, setting it up, getting the, getting the cart before the horse when it comes to our industry to be able to lead this negotiations. And all these prior leaders that we talked about and what they've done in, in our current leadership right now, uh, the bottom line is if nobody votes for them, they're not going to be there. And then we're not we're, we're going to 
we're taking away from ourselves when it comes to the contract. And if it's not important for us to vote now, then we don't care about our contract next year. So thank you very much for listening to this long message. Uh, We love you. Great leadership here. Appreciate both of your all's mentorship and have a wonderful day. Thank you.